Hey guys, Kazurath here with my first ever Blender 2.5 tutorial, and this will be for how to export a game runtime so somebody without Blender could play it. Now I'm making this tutorial because I could not find one, and I figured it out. So first off, what you have to do is you have to install some um, DLLs and codecs. So go down to your installation for Blender, open it up, and get to this point where you have all these .dlls. You probably won't have them all, so you have to get these ones from Blender 2.49, which I will probably put in the description just these things. So you have to like, install a different Blender. Don't move if there's already one here. Do not replace. Okay, so you've added all your codecs. So you can go to your Blender project. A few things we gotta do with Blender here. First off, let me open up my game. This is a very simple game. It plays through this. You press P to play, and you can test your game to make sure it's running well. And what you have to do is you want to go up to User Preferences, Add-ons, Game Engine, Game Engine Save as Runtime, check it. And then just close that. Now if you go down to Export, there's a Save as Game Runtime. Now you will take this into your wherever you want to. I'll go to Documents, Tutorial, Save as Game Runtime. You can call it whatever you want. I recommend you make a folder just for it. And Blender just crashed on me. That's that's not it. Copying files. Captain DLs finish time in 14 seconds. It normally doesn't change up your color scheme, but if it does, hold on here. Let's close that. Up this. I don't know how to fix this right now, but whatever. We'll push on through. So you go to documents. Probably screwed it up somewhere. On. Tutorial. Here's all of these. We are not quite done yet. Go into Python lib. Cut this. Cut and paste it over this one. Yes, merge them or whatever. Yeah, and they should, because there should only be one lib folder. And if you go to run your game, it's working, but it went to full screen. So I don't think you were able to see it. And just press escape to exit. 